First of all, what we introduced today was a family of devices known as the Nokia X family. And these are deliberately targeted at growth markets where there's a real boom happening in low cost, affordable smartphones. What we've done is we took the Android open source project, so the common code, but what we did is we added to that the unique Nokia experiences like Hear Maps and Mix Radio, but we also introduced the Microsoft cloud services, so Skype, OneDrive, Outlook.com. The net effect for Nokia and for Microsoft is we have a whole family of smartphones from the higher end Nokia Lumia devices down into the Nokia X family all tied together with a common cloud infrastructure. To be clear, that's open source. You've not licensed Android from Google. That's correct. We've deliberately set aside or taken out the direct Google callouts and replaced them with Microsoft and Nokia experiences. Does that mean it proves that Android is the system that people are going to use for cheap phones and Windows phones is not one that's going to have a future? No, what we also talked about today, and Microsoft made some announcements at the show as well, is the Windows phone platform itself will continue to push down in price point while it maintains the quality of experience that it has. And with Nokia X, we will push its price point to lower points below what we're doing with Lumia. So very much looking at emerging markets, no doubt. Yeah, so the, the focus for Nokia X is very much on emerging markets. And one of the powerful things for Microsoft is that we will be connecting tens of millions of people who have never been introduced to Microsoft before in any context. These are people who typically have never had a personal computer or tablet or anything, and they'll have an affordable smartphone experience that will introduce them to Microsoft through the cloud-based services. You've also announced some BBMing, so you've done a deal with, with BlackBerry as well. What does, that, what does that tell us about how popular BBM is? So BBM in certain geographies around the world has a very strong foothold for messaging, just as you see other applications in certain countries like WhatsApp and certainly Skype and a number of markets. BBM is important in, in certain markets, particularly certain emerging markets, and so we're very pleased to have announced today that that's coming both for Lumia and for the Nokia X products as well. What about Windows phones for 2014? I mean, it's been a very up uphill battle. It hasn't gone well. Do you think you can crack that? Actually, uh, we think it has gone quite well. The Windows phone ecosystem is the fastest growing ecosystem on the planet today. Our sales of Windows phone doubled year on year. And we have some exciting announcements coming in the very near future around Lumia as well. You should uh, check out the Microsoft Build Conference that's coming up. We'll have more news there. Is that more about apps? Because people keep saying there aren't enough apps on the Windows platform. So there's been a steady growth in the number of apps. And today, to be able to talk about Instagram or Vine or BBM and so many others shows that that momentum is growing. So we're pleased with that. But we also have device announcements ahead as well about new products and new capabilities. So there's a lot of excitement immediately ahead for Lumia and Windows Phone. So you're still CEO of Nokia in Finland, or are you now in Seattle? So I am leading the devices business for Nokia, based in Finland, and at the same time we're doing a lot of planning with Microsoft so that we can bring the companies together seamlessly when the deal closes. Finally, as far as the CEO goes, you were on the, on the list, were you not? So I'm really excited <laughs> to be joining Microsoft. I'm looking forward, I've spent a quite a bit of time with Satya Nadella, the new CEO at Microsoft. I'm excited to be joining that team, to be working and supporting him, so it's going to be a very bright future for me at Microsoft.